The inner development goals show what inner shifts or human growth needs to happen in order for us to increase our chances of reaching the sustainable development goals collectively. The dimension that we have been very good at exploring during the last couple of hundred years has been the external world. But that we have come to a point where the outside perspective has to be complemented by uh, an inside perspective. I realize more and more that we cannot reach the sustainability goals if we do not work with our inner development. This does not apply only to universities. This applies to all sectors, all ages. We see a lot of leadership failure. Leaders being out of touch with reality. So in other words, it's a lack of listening. So listening, I believe, is not just an important one. It's the most important and most underrated leadership skill today. Where education is fundamentally oriented towards meaning and purpose in a changing world, rather than uh, mere content delivery for students. Because at the core, we are the problem. The way that we're acting in the world and the way that we are solving problems is the problem. I used to think the top environmental problems were biodiversity loss, ecosystem collapse, and climate change. I thought that with 30 years of good science, we could address those problems. But I was wrong. The top environmental problems are selfishness, greed, and apathy. And to deal with those, we need a spiritual and cultural transformation. And as Einstein said, we are never going to be able to solve our problems with the same order of consciousness that created these problems. So as a species, we need more and more of us to grow and develop so that we have actually a bigger purchase on, a bigger perspective on, a bigger ability to solve the biggest, most dangerous uh, kinds of challenges that we face.